So far, my plan is working. Good morning, my name is Joe Foy and I work for the Wilderness Committee to protect wild nature. This morning we're getting a real early start so we can head on up to the Fraser Canyon to check out the Nahatlatch Valley. A small section of the road has been washed out so I'm bringing along an electric mountain bike. We'll head on up the road today to check out Teapot Valley, a little side drainage that still has old growth forest, which is the habitat for the endangered spotted owl. Come along with me today. It's going to be a wild ride, but a worthwhile one because there's a logging plan for this area and we've got to work out how we're going to get the logging stopped and the little teapot valley protected. Today we'll be in the unceded territory of the Intaklamath Nation, who have stewarded their beautiful lands and waters for thousands of years. Gonna head up the Nahatlatch Road. The problem is the road's washed out. It came up here last week and checked it out. And it looks like there's a trail that'll get me 120 meters or whatever beyond the washout. Then I've got to go 17 kilometers up in the Hatlatch so I can get a good view of the Teapot Valley, which is what I've come to see today. So far, my plan is working. <laughs> the trail worked a little rough in places when you're packing a bike, but it's an awesome trail that someone has cut there around the, the Hatlatch washout. Was able to get my mountain bike through and then the road here is just really nice for cycling today. It was last year's atmospheric river flooding that caused so much damage in Southern British Columbia, including right here in the Nahatlatch Valley. It's what's cut the road in several places. So I'm stopping as I go along my way just to check out what was damaged and what is still perfectly fine. Taking a break at the old Forest Service cabin here on the shores of the Nahatlatch. Nice break. Well, let me get back on the bike. Head up the road. I got a ways to go before we get to see the Teapot Valley. Ooh, at kilometer 20 and 21, there's this mud flow that's happened. <laughs> All over the road. Not too bad though. You just walk the bike over it. Yeah, at 22 kilometer, I kind of lost the road. So I got to go find it. Just past Squawkum Creek, here at the entranceway to Squawkum Creek Campground. Looks like the, road, the water from somewhere jumped onto the road leading in and has eroded 
kind of a ditch down the road here. It's kind of removed half the road. I'm not going to go down there because I'm heading further up than the Hatlats. I think I'm heading to around kilometer 35. Well, I'm trying to make time, but I had to stop for this. The sand comes in because the water washes it in from the creek. But everything that comes down here leaves tracks. There's a whole collection of predator and prey just in this little area here. Kilometer 31 here on the Nahatlatch Road. Getting close, I think I have to go at about kilometer 32. About the Nahatlatch River Road, I'm up about 32 kilometers, it's blocked at about kilometer 15. What I've done is taken an electric mountain bike and I've gotten by the block and I've driven up here because I wanted to see the beautiful Teapot Valley. And it's been a gorgeous day uh, here in the Nahatlatch Valley and I have gotten up to see the Teapot. The Teapot Valley drains into the Nahatlatch Valley. The reason I'm here is it's an unroaded, unlogged watershed. And that is really, really rare in the area behind me uh, on the other side of the Nahatlatch Valley. Most valleys have got uh, roads and logging in them. And so this is just the fact that it's un <clears throat> unroaded and unlogged is really, really important. But the Teapot Valley is full of old growth forest. The provincial government has mapped that old growth forest. BC has designated that old growth forest as priority deferral areas, at risk old growth forest. The federal government has a map, a draft map of critical spotted owl habitat. That includes the Teapot Valley. The province has designated uh, the Teapot Valley as containing old growth spotted owl habitat. And that's why it's so shocking when we found out that there is a brand new logging plan for the Teapot Valley. That's why I'm here. To get that logging plan stopped and get the Teapot Valley, which drains into the Nahatlatch, protected. Now I came up here to see how far the new logging road has gotten. A bridge has been put across Lower Teapot Creek and the logging road does snake up the lower slopes, but luckily it has not yet entered into the main Teapot Valley and we are so lucky there is time to get this stopped. That's why I've come up here and it's why I'm talking to you today. I'm asking you to please write our provincial government representatives, write the Premier of the province and demand that Teapot Valley not be logged. There has been so much logging everywhere in this province. It's time that we protect the precious remnants of wild nature we have left. The work's been done. The mapping has been done. It's very clear that this is a really, really important area of the Teapot Valley to protect old growth forest and endangered species habitat. Please write your letter today. And if you can afford it, a donation would really help too. It helps keep us, the Wilderness Committee, out on the land. This beautiful land that I'm out on today is in the Kavnak territory. This is the Fraser Canyon area. So grateful to be here today and determined to see the Teapot Valley protected and handed down. Please write your letter today. This has been Joe Foy, Protected Area Campaigner, here in the Nahatlatch Valley, checking on the beautiful Teapot Valley.